action fight of sorts for both men. Pacquiao fighting after suffering two consecutive losses and Rios after dropping his first. Tail the tape on these two. Looks like this. Rio, seven years younger than Pacquiao is, and he's got a slight edge in height and reach. Pacquiao has lost his last two fights, getting knocked out last December by Juan Manuel Marquez. Rio suffered his first career loss this past March as they are ready to go. And they're ready to join us here on SportsCenter. Both fight fighters are with us from Los Angeles. Manny, let's start with you. How long did it take you to recover from that knockout loss? Hello? Hello, Manny. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Manny? Yes, yes. I wanted to ask you, how long yeah, did it hello, take yes, you? Yes, yes. How long did it take you to recover after that loss to Marquez? I'm, I'm recovered. I already recovered, and um, I'm ready for the fight and excited for the fight. Brandon, on the other side, what did you learn from your first career loss that you could take forward into fighting the man standing to your right? Uh, if you're talking about the loss between me and Alvarado, it's way different compared to me and uh, uh, me and Manny Pack because they don't fight the same. But I don't want to experience a loss again, so that's I'm going in there and I'm not, I don't want to experience that again. So I got to train the best and be ready. All right, Manny, you could fight a lot of different guys. You're one of the most powerful guys in boxing. Why choose to fight Rios? I, I didn't choose to pick an uh, 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 easy opponent, but uh, I picked Rios because I believe that he can give a good fight, and we can give a good fight to the fans, and that's what the, what the fans want, and to give a good show. Well, apparently not enough of a good show, because Brandon said you're going you to knock Manny out, Brandon. Why do you believe that to be true? Because I'm, I'm young, hungry, and I, I want that fame. I want that success. Manny Pacquiao done great in the, the boxing sport. You know, who can say they've been eight-time world champion in eight different weight class? Nobody. He can say that. So what? it's my time now. I'm a rising star now. I'm a rising star. I got I to gotta, I gotta go in there and perform the best. All right, so Brandon says it's but his not on that, But because if it's really the way, the way, the way I think it's too is because if we're fighting in China, it's really, if, it was, it's a, if it's a close fight, I, to my, my mind and my point of view, they might give him the fight because it's China pretty much his hometown. So I got to go in there and make a statement. Yeah, Manny, the uh, Filipino star, no doubt about it. Manny, give me your scouting report on your opponent here. What, is, uh, what does Brandon do pretty well? Um, he, he, you know, Rios is a very aggressive fighter, throwing a lot of punches, and that's what I want. And, and I mean, uh, uh, that's pretty sure that we can give more action and uh, a good fight to the fans. And of course, uh, I want to prove I chose him as my opponent for this next fight because uh, I want to prove to the fans that I still can fight and uh, to get it back the trust and confidence of the fans. Brandon, you said the fight in China, most of the crowd probably will be rooting for Pacquiao, obviously, from the Philippines. In your mind, any trepidation, any danger in taking this fight in China because of that reason? No, because if there was a, a danger and a fact, I would never accept the fight. Uh, of course, I want to fight. I want to fight the best to show that I can be one of the best out there because Manny Pacquiao is the best. So not only that, but I'm ready, man. I don't care where, I don't care who I'm fighting. I'm not really fighting the crowd. I'm fighting the Manny Pacquiao. It's me and him in the ring, not the crowd. So as long as I'm ready and I'm going in there mentally and physically ready, that's what matters. And I'll be well prepared and trained. Let me ask you what, most fighters when they grow up, they think about fighting a guy like Manny Pacquiao after everything Manny's done in this sport. How does it feel that you're going to be in the ring with a guy somebody considers the legend in the sport? It feels good. So I can say, uh, after the fight, I've been, in, I've been in the ring with one of the best. So it feels great. And I'm just very happy and excited, man. I cannot express my feelings even more. I just can't wait to November 23rd could here faster and sooner so we can do shit out because in the ring, uh, there ain't gonna be no holding back. It's gonna be a bloody massacre. It's gonna be a, very, a, a crazy fight. It's gonna be a tough fight, but the fans, everybody around the world, they're gonna love this fight because Manny brings it, I bring it, we never back up. It's gonna be a great fight. All right, before we let you go, I think the question on every boxing fan's mind is directed to you, Manny. Would another loss mean the end of your time in the ring? Uh, for me? If you lose this fight, would you Still, retire? Um, yes. You would? If... I'm not thinking uh, negative, but I'm always think positive. I mean, uh, I never think uh, negatively, but I always think positive. So let's say 
uh, after this fight, but uh, I will do my best for this fight. All right, keep I'll it wide open. Best. Guys, thanks very much. Look forward to November 23rd, Macau, China, Rios and Pacquiao. Gentlemen, thanks for your time today. Yeah, Thank you, guys. So much. There are 32 teams in the NFL.